With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the question says precipitation occurs when hydrated ferric, ferric oxide hydrated ferric oxide and arsenious sulfide are mixed so it is due to option 1 electro osmosis option 2 electrophoresis option 3 catalysis and option 4 mutual coagulation okay so here we see that the salt taken ferric oxide hydrated ferric oxide means ferric hydroxide fe oh whole 3 okay that is mainly a positive salt okay and arsenic sulfide arsenious sulfide as 2 s 3 it is mainly negative salt okay so these two positive salt and negative salt are mixed and we get a precipitation 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 in the solution so how we get when there is a displacement of ions okay mutual displacement or mutual coagulation okay that is possible one and only mutual coagulation okay here positive and negative salt mutually coagulate transfer their ions and get precipitated get precipitated there is no new product is formed no new product is formed okay so among the given options we see electro osmosis okay so this is the osmosis when we applied electric current okay when osmosis occurs by electric current then it is called electro osmosis here the uh, transfer of charge charges occurs when there is transfer of charges occurs then there is not possible a precipitation reaction because precipitation of any uh, compound or any solution requires the stability okay the stability of the solution or stagnant uh, nature of the solution if we move uh, the solution if we move the particles of uh, the solution through electric current then there is no uh, stability okay and it cannot be precipitated with this random moving nature okay so electrophoresis what is electrophoresis in this case here also the movement of ions during the by providing the electric current okay the positive charge uh, salt goes to the cathode and negative charge salt goes towards anode okay so uh, that's why electrophoresis cannot be useful for the precipitation reaction okay and uh, by the catalysis reaction what is what do you mean by the catalysis catalysis is the uh, phenomena when the rate of the reaction is increased by using the catalysis and the catalysis uh, uh, the catalyst uh, is unchanged during this whole course of reaction okay so by using the catalyst there is a change of rate of the reaction so that is the process this that phenomena is called the catalysis so we see that uh, these three options are incorrect so only correct option is option 4 okay 
that is mutual coagulation here uh, we see that there is a positive salt and there is a negative salt when this positive and negative salt come together come closer it will neutralize um, each other they will neutralize each other and form a precipitation okay so i hope this answer your question thanks for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today